Hey everybody, I am back on the King Thor and we are getting it all done now. Now you can get an idea what the deck is to look like that the porch is going to be on and right here on the back of it. So what I'm working with is I'm working with the best deck screws you can get is these little things right here and I get these from eBay. You can look down there at my info stuff down at the bottom of the video or a pen post or something look down there i'll put a link you can't get these at a local hardware store or lowe's or anything for nowhere near the price that i buy these for these are two and a quarter inch long and they work excellent on deck boards uh anything like your trailer frame boards you can get them an inch and a quarter so like putting in three quarter plywood down for a cargo trailer or something and their torx drive they do not slip and they'll send you with it 7 30 seconds bits so that you can put it in i'm going to show you here how easy this is because I, i'm sure there's people that know what these are and how they work but i'm going down into the metal frame underneath now that's down through the metal frame underneath so you'll be able to see here that in the frame Hope you can see that. You can see the screws coming through the angle right there. Um, these are machine tip screws, bolts or whatever you want to call them, that have a special special serrated tip on it to start threading into the metal that you're going to use them on. So I'll put this one here, and I love using this thing here. If y'all want one of these, they make a 20 volt version too. You'd be shocked who sells them at the best price. Look down there for that link and if you uh if you like the specs on it you'll love it so using a 25 t25 torx tip we'll just shoot this thing right in and it goes into the metal and secures the wood so once you get it completely in you'll see that it goes flush flush to the finish and in my case we'll be using that carpet right over here that as uh, allows moisture or water to go through it and even some small sand or grit and it's vacuum you can vacuum it and it's outdoor grade so we're going to be having all the rest of this deck i've got to cut two more boards to put in over here and right now um thor over here inspecting his rv we're taking the rest of these doors and windows and refrigerator cover and uh, stove vent all out right now and I'll show you with the whole thing opened up here in just a second you know how if you go back and look at one of my older videos there's a very old video a couple of years I think mallard trailer on it uh, this, uh, how bad it's made <laughs> keep that word in mind go back and look at it now it's got a lot of views. Now, I want to show you something. This is why people get pissed off at the travel trailer industry. Now, this one isn't rotted. That's dirt. There's actually no rot anywhere on it so far. So far. Um, that doesn't mean that moisture didn't get in, even though this was in a building. It just, no, no rot so far. I want to show you something of why the travel trailer industry has such a bad name. That's why they have such a bad name. Now, if you look through here, this came off like that. There was no insulation here. Not even, I mean, this is not even half inch thick. There's a few spots where they actually put insulation in, <laughs> shockingly. So, up here, what we've decided because of the metal and wanting to rewire this, it was easier just to pull the metal off. And you can see there's the inside. And there is no rot. This is just. It's dirt no rod anywhere it's just all dirt so um, it did well in, in its year but look look at that that's what we're talking about here this is the insulation up front started out I guess about three quarters of an inch um, up here we'll pull that piece off there was none you don't even see any evidence of insulation there's none um, this is kind of common in the travel trailer industry. And when I pulled this off, I thought, hey, that's a nice looking bad insulation there. More <laughs> thin stuff. 
So it was very smart of us to pull the metal off. Um, we were thinking that it was a good inch and a half bat in the walls, but I mean, you can look at the ladder there. That's it. That's what it's got in them. And I mean, look how piss poor. This is a security traveler and they still manufacture these and people just raved about how great they were. And you know what? It's a beautiful trailer, a beautiful camper inside. You know, inside is just gorgeous. It's a nice looking thing. It's all in great shape. There's no water damage anywhere. It's dirt. See that? That's actually dirt. It rubs off. Um, dust. You know, we live in a farm area. So we're pulling all the metal off. This side has still got all its metal on it. And the windows have got all the screws except a few removed. And we're going to rip this off. And I'll show you that here in this next step. But you can look. I mean, it's, there's no rot. Seven, 1971 model RV camper with no rod. This is shocking, <laughs> but it's true. So, but we're going to do a real insulation job on it and get that Masonite 7 16 board on there. And I'm sure I'll get bashed for using that. Um, we're looking at lightweight when we're looking at, it's got a 25 year supposed warranty on it. Um, that's where we're at right now. The porch is almost complete. I'm waiting on a couple of boards I ran out and to get them put in. And we'll be on that as soon as I strip all this off. You're going to see the naked thing for how they're built. Okay, now on this other side of the RV, you see we have the power box and I don't really like its location because it is behind the shower unit the bathroom I don't care for that too much and it looks like it's fairly simple setup where it's just a 15 amp breaker we, we want to upgrade this so we're going to remove this power box and I'm going to run a power line up forward and we're going to change it out to where we have the 30 amp twist lock on it now you can see how easy these trailers are to Demolish. They're really easy. This this RVs just staples and pretty simple to just remove this stuff. I mean, it comes off and just slides out the way that it's fit up inside here, just like regular siding on a house. But it's just just little cheap staples. Now these aren't rusted. They're in pretty good condition. You would think for a RV that is 1971 that these would be in bad shape, but like I said, it's stayed in a building its whole life and it's in pretty good condition. It is what it is. It's an RV that is a uh, repair job waiting for a place to happen. So this is our setup here. You see what we're doing. We're going to be taking the rest of the insulation and putting it in there. And I know some people want to see all the framing work as I go it's kind of hard to hammer something in and film it <laughs> but we're doing this in steps and stages and all this is going up that siding will be underneath the lip of that metal up there with a seal and all the lights will be redone since we're removing all the siding we'll be able to rewire it nicely instead of how it's wired now which is with a whole lot of those uh, tap connectors which I do not like and capped them all off the, the wiring will be ended in here and left abandoned completely new wiring because on the end of the porch will be this this light setup that's currently here on the back will also be on the end of the porch and this will just be covered so all right guys this is an update video of what we got going on here and how it's coming out I've also got a bunch of uh, one by twos and we're going to be using these to create a better nailing surface in places that are just one one but two it's kind of hard to get a nail in it and make it hold or screw we'll be using screws so i'm going to double them up glued and a few screws in it to make a larger nailing surface for the siding that'll be going on plus it, it'll give us more strength overall and all of it's going to be framed up a little heavier than it is now all right. All right. That's it. We've got uh, the two girls out here with me. And the next step is getting the paneling up in here 
and on that wall because it's not possible to get it in once it's framed. That's the problem. All right, I'll show you all those steps and a little bit better video, but this is just an update of how far we're gone and how much change is going to happen and better insulating and all that stuff. All right, keep an eye on it. We're working on it.